Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power 3 minus y power 3 is equal to 91. To find the values of x and y from this equation. Now, in the first step, from here in the left side, x power 3 minus y power 3 is in the form of algebraic rule, which is a power 3 minus b power 3, which is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket then we'll apply this form in terms of x so it will be a minus b is x minus y bracket bracket a square it will be x square plus a b it will be x y plus b square it will be y square bracket is equal to this 91 then in the next step from here is multiplication of this term times this term is equal to 91 then we have choices whereas this term this it can be 1 times 91 is equal to this 91 so this is 1 and this 91 is for this term and also we have other term to get 91 is either negative 1 times negative 91 is equal to negative times negative is positive so to be positive 91 and we have the other choice to get 91 is either 7 times 13 is equal to 91 or when it is negative to be negative 7 times negative 13 is equal to 91 now for the condition of this multiplication of this term times this term we can see x square and here we have x y square so x times y so this term this x square it must be positive value and this must be positive value and this x times y it can be x times y it can be negative or positive so the sum of this times this plus this it will be positive value now if this is positive value and here the product is positive value then for here it must be positive value because if it is negative negative times positive is negative so this value must be positive times positive is positive value which is 91 so we we'll reject this solution and also we we'll reject this solution then in the next step also from here x x square plus xy plus y square x square y square it means that this product the sum of this this and this it is greater than the difference of x minus y so the other condition x minus y this is less than this which is x square plus x y plus y square therefore this value this in this side it should be greater than this side as we can see here 91 is greater than 1 also in here 13 is greater than 7 so it can be it cannot be 90, 91 times 1 this cannot be 91 times 1 so this condition is possible and this the other condition is possible so we'll continue to solve by checking these conditions these two conditions whereas we have this x minus y is equal to this one and also this x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 91 so x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 91 then in the next step and also we should write this the other condition which is this we have 7 and here 13 so x minus y is equal to 7 and x square plus xy plus y square 
is equal to 13. Now, to solve from this, this first solution, in here, when we take this negative y into this side, it will be x is equal to 1 plus y. Then, to solve from this second equation, in here it will be x square, then plus xy is same as 3xy minus 2xy, then plus this y square is equal to 91. Then it will be this x square, then we take this minus 2xy plus this y square, then plus this 3xy is equal to this 91. Then from here, x square minus 2xy plus y square, this is same as x minus y bracket square. Then plus this 3xy is equal to 91. Then in the next step, from here, x minus y. This x minus y is this in the first equation, which is equal to 1. So in here it is 1, so it will be 1 square, 1 square is 1, then plus this 3xy is equal to 91. Then we take 1 into this side, it will be 3xy is equal to 91 minus 1 is 90. Then we divide by 3 and here divide by 3. So this and this will cancel, then it will be xy is equal to 90 divided by 3 is 30. Then from here, xy is equal to 30. Then we'll take this equation. In here, we'll take negative y to this side. So it will be x is equal to 1 plus y. So from x, x is equal to 1 plus y. In here, x will substitute 1 plus y. Then bracket plus this y is equal to 30. Then it will be y times 1 is y plus y times y is y square is equal to 30. Then we take y into this side, it will be, no, they are in the same side. We take 30 into this side. So it, we start by this y square plus this y. This we take to this side to be minus 30 is equal to 0. Then we solve this quadratic equation by grouping and factorization. Because this is 30, 30 is same as 6 times 5. So it will be this y square, then plus y. It is y same as 6y minus 5y, then minus 30 is equal to 0. Then from here, we take y out of bracket. This divided by this is y plus this divided by this is 6 bracket. In here, we take negative 5 out of bracket. This divided by this is y. This divided by this is 6, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, y plus 6 is common. So we take y plus 6, bracket, out of bracket. This divided by this is y. This divided by this is negative 5, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, we have two solutions. Whereas this is the first solution, y plus 6 is equal to 0. And this second solution, y minus 5 is equal to 0. Then from this solution, we take 6 to this side to be y is equal to negative 6. So we get the value of y. And here we take negative 5 to this side to be y is equal to 5. So this is the other value of y. Then from here, in from here, x is equal to y plus 1. So we find the value of x. Then x is equal to 1 plus y. So it will be x is equal to when when y it is negative 6. So in here when y is equal to negative 6. So it will be 1 plus y it is negative 6. Then it will be x is equal to this plus this is negative 5. So when y is negative 6, y is 5. And for the other condition, 
when y is equal to 5 so in here when y is equal to 5 then it will be x is equal to 1 plus y it will be x is equal to 1 plus y which is 5 then it will be x is equal to this plus this is 6 therefore when y is equal to 5 y x is equal to 6 so we already get the two solutions then to solve from the second solution which is this whereas we have these two equations in here we take negative y into this side so it will be x is equal to 7 then plus y it will be 7 plus y for this x which is 7 plus y we substitute here into x so it will be 7 plus y bracket this square then plus xy x is 7 plus y so it will be 7 plus y then bracket times this y then plus this y square is equal to this 13 then the square of 7 plus y 7 times 7 is 49 then plus 2 times 7 times y it will be 14 y then plus y times y is y square then plus y times 7 is 7 y then plus y times y is y square then plus this y square is equal to 13 then in the next step in here y square plus y square plus y square is 3 y square then plus in here 7 y plus 14 y is 21 y then this 13 we take into this side to be 49 minus 13 it will be plus 9 minus 3 is 6 4 minus 1 is 3 is equal to 0 then from here this quadratic equation it can be it is divisible by 3 in both parts so it will be this divided by this is y square plus this divided by this is 7y plus this divided by this is 12 is equal to 0 then to solve from this quadratic equation it can it can also be solved by grouping and factorization because here we have 12 12 is same as 3 times Four. So it will be y square plus 7y is same as 3y plus 4y then plus 12 is equal to 0. Then in here we divide by y. In here y is common. We take y out of bracket. This divided by this is y plus this divided by this is 3 bracket plus. In here 4 we take 4 out of bracket. This divided by this is y plus this divided by this is 3 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here y plus 3 is common. We take y plus 3 bracket out of bracket. This divided by this is y plus this divided by this is 4 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas the first solution is y plus 3 is equal to 0. And this does solution y plus 4 is equal to 0. Then in here, we take 3 to this side to be y is equal to negative 3. And here we take 4 to this side, it will be y is equal to negative 4. So we get the values of y. Then from, from here, we take negative y to this side to be x is equal to 7 plus y. Then from here, we write x is equal to 7 plus y also in here x is equals to 7 plus y then we take we substitute negative 3 into y so it will be 7 plus negative 3 then it will be x is equal to this minus this is 4 so when x is when y is negative 3 y x is 4 and also from here it will be x is equals to 7 then plus y which is this negative 4 then it will be x is equal to this and this it will be 3 so when y is negative 4 x is 3 therefore our conclusion for x comma y 
x comma y is equal to from the first solution in here in the first solution x is negative 5 y is negative 6 so negative 5 comma negative 6 and the other solution x comma y is equal to x is 6 y is 5 so x 6 comma y is 5 and the other solution x comma y is equal to from the second solution x is 4 y is negative 3 so it will be 4 comma negative 3 and the other solution x comma y it will be equal to x is 3 y is negative 4 so 3 comma negative 4 so these are all the solution for the value of x comma y in this our problem whereas we have four answers now to check if these solutions are correct we can check by either one two of the solutions or two of the answers well let's check for these positive answers let's say this x comma y is six x is six y is five now to check here x is six y is five so it will be x is six so it will be six power three minus y is five it will be five power three now 6 power of 3 is 216 minus 5 power of 3 it is 125 so we take this minus this it is 91 so this solution is okay and this solution is okay now from here we can check for this x is 4 y is because this they have negative so power it will be negative if we substitute this we will come to find it is okay and this it is okay now to check for this 4 negative 3 and here 3 negative 4 so let's check for only this answer 3 negative 4 negative 3 so for x is equal to 4 y is equal to negative 3 so x is 4 so it will be 4 power of 3 then minus y y is negative 3 it will be negative 3 bracket power of 3 then 4 power of 3 it is 64 then minus 3 power of 3 it is 27 so it will be minus 27 so this negative negative it will be positive then 7 plus 4 is 1 go with 1 this plus this is 8 plus 1 is 9 so for this other solution is possible this and this thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye